Hey guys, what's going on? Sentient Potato here, and welcome to another episode of TaterCast with the lovely Kiyomi Hoshi. Feel free to introduce yourself, by the way. Hello, hello, hello. I am Kamen Rider Yokai, otherwise known as Kiyomi Hoshi. How's everyone doing tonight? So, Kiyomi, I know you um are a huge... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my mod was a bit wonky there because I was off screen for a second. Hang on. There we go. Much better. No problem. So I, I know you um like I know you do a lot of stuff when it comes to uh Tokusatsu on Twitter, and I know you call yourself Common Rider Hoshi, but like w out of curiosity, what made you settle on this theme? Uh what made me settle on this theme? I have an endless supply of shit to post, basically. I've noticed that a lot of other people don't really have that sort of thing to rely on. Like, they don't really have... They don't post that much, and if they do, it's just some random shit post. It's not, like, anything that has to do with their theme. And if it is, then it doesn't really go anywhere. Like, I guess I just got lucky picking this. Fair enough. Out of curiosity, what made you choose uh, V-tubing instead of uh, flesh tubing or any of that? Um, one... I value my privacy, as you can probably see. I've only face posted a couple of times. Uh, yeah, a couple of times within recent memory. And uh, flesh shooting is just boring in general. Like, I could do it. I could get probably farther than I do with uh, with VTubing. But, you know, it's more fun this way. Fair enough. Out of curiosity, why a uh, fox girl? I just like foxes. Foxes are fucking cute, dude. They're adorable. Fair enough. Ah, wah, 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 wah. Fox noises. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Out of curiosity, um, I know it's like your thing says E N J A, but like, are you like, do you only know English and Japanese, or do you know other languages? Uh, just English and Japanese. Okay. A bit of Korean, enough to like read replies from Koreans. All right. Out of uh, curiosity, what got you into tokusatsu? Um, dad did actually. Since you asked. Fair enough. Out of uh, curiosity, how has it affected your life? Um, how's it affected my life? Uh, mostly going to cons and stuff like that. Physically, um, just doing VTuber stuff in general is. Well, it's been a ride, I'll say that. <laughs> it's definitely been a ride. Alright. So, out of curiosity, what's your opinion on the uh, sort of Western trans translation type uh, things for certain um, tokusatsu, such as how we in America have Power Rangers as opposed to Sentai? Like, how, What do you think of stuff like that? Um, I grew up with a lot of Power Rangers stuff, honestly. Most people did. Uh, most people in my age bracket did. And I adore it with every fiber of my being. It's just lately it ha I don't know if it's because I've gotten older or it's because the show itself has gotten shit. It's gotten but, like, shit. Like, Dino Fury was fucking awful. Cosmic Fury was even worse. And now the entire franchise is on hiatus for God knows how long. Fair enough. The uh, last Power Rangers... Fucking what, like, what a, what a fucking world, right? <laughs> fucking 30 years of this shit? Not even 30... Yeah, 30 years of this shit, only to go out with a whimper? Are you kidding me? I'm kind of surprised it didn't die out back in 2012 with Samurai, honestly. Like, I barely got myself through very many episodes of that show, and even then, I got so bored with it. Instead of uh, watching that, most of the time I just hook in the uh, video cable from my Xbox and, uh, like, just watch that with a Power Rangers audio, because that was less dull. Yeah, it probably was a little bit less dull. Also, I haven't used this avatar in a bit of a while. It, and it's, that's a pretty neat avatar. So is your, uh, current one. Sp yes. Speaking of, uh, avatars... It, my rigging needs a little bit of work. If you couldn't tell from my live 2D, it needs a bit of work. I mean... Fair enough, but, like, needs a bit of work or not, I still think that's a pretty neat avatar. Mm-hmm. All right, I got an oddball. It's, it's better than my temporary PNG, was just, which was just a fox 
with my hair edited on it. I mean, for a while, I just had my uh, YouTube logo and then just slapped one of them 90s looking uh, cartoon mouths on it. So it could be worse. Like, out of uh, curiosity, and I know this is going to be an oddball question, but I asked it to the last guest, might as well ask it to you. How do you perceive the passage of time? That's a really weird question. What do you mean? Like, uh, just even day to day, or even just as the years pass. Like, how do you perceive that, like, at all? Like, do you see things that's going fast and slow? Things that seemed like they were weeks ago, actually yesterday? Like, how do you see it? Um... If like it feels like yesterday where I literally started out and now I'm nearly at twenty k. Crazy how times change, huh? It's been what three years now. Sounds about right. My first attempt at VTubing didn't go so well. I'd, I would rather not talk about that. But if you know, you know. You know if you, you if if you know, you're a real one. Basically, only a few people know. That is fair. All right, I have a uh, another question then. What uh, what movies have you seen recently? Recently, the Geats and Gotchard Winter movie. Nice. Is that a uh, pretty recent movie, or that is that one rather old? Recent, recent, as in literally like three weeks ago. Oh, nice. How uh, how was it? It was good. It was good. It was good. Um, it will be on Blu-ray, I think, in July. Okay. And then I'll finally be able to make clips of it. That Gotchard, that's a uh, common rider, assuming, right? Yeah. Assuming people don't upload in that really weird file format that I hate. Hopefully they don't do that. Fair enough. Uh, either way, good. Uh, good luck on that one. It's seven months out, so it's not that big a deal. Don't need to worry about it right now. Ah, okay. So then, uh, see any interesting show? Yo, what the fuck is that ring? There's a ring? Wait, never mind. I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> it was a f I used a hotkey on Discord, and I've never used hotkeys on Discord before. Oops. Ah, it happens. <laughs> so, so I know you've uh, been watching a lot of tokusatsu and whatnot, but have you uh -huh. seen anything recently... That's not related to that. That you'd highly recommend. Ah, uh, da, 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 da da Um, shit. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I really do need to watch more than just Toku. My God. Um, shit, dude. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So then, um. I know you mentioned you're a VTuber, we kind of touched upon that briefly, but, like, what's mm -hmm. your opinion on VTuber culture and how it's been changing since you've started? Um, I've been around since, shit, dude, 2021. Okay. And how it was back then versus how it is now? Uh, damn. Well, recently... Like, a whole bunch of these indie companies have just been... These indie groups have just been falling apart in shit, and... Like, the only one left in my own one, the one that I made, I'm the only one left. So, like... That's crazy. I'm the only one, I'm the only one left, and, like, the reason it fell apart was completely my fault. Just miscommunications and all that shit, people moving on to other places. That's totally fine, but, like, I'm the only person left under that branding. Uh, and then Kawa fell apart recently, and... Before that, VT Rainbow fell apart, like, in what, September? Yeah, that, that sounds or, about right. It was either September or late August, wasn't it? Like, Octo like October, I think, oh, okay. probably. Still, it's crazy. Like, October, November. And what else? Um, Selen is probably going to get graduated from Niji Sanji pretty soon. Sucks for her. I love her. She's part of the reason why I even started VTubing to begin with. Hopefully she gets picked up by V Shoujo or Hololive or anywhere else, honestly. Here's hoping. Um as for uh just VTuber culture in general, um damn, what do I want to say about that? Um I was not expecting to be just 
I was not expecting to unironically be someone's, you know, oh, she within like two years, dude. Like, shit's fucking wild. What is an Oshi? Um, like, favorite, idol, support. It literally means, it literally translates to support. Ah, I see, okay. Yeah. But I guess a better way to put it would be, like, idol. That's ah, how okay. it works a little bit better in English, I suppose. Idols are the, uh, folks who, or, or the, uh, Japanese women who wear the, um, bright, flashy clothing itself. Yes, correct. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> um, and it's like, I haven't, well, I'm not gonna lie and say there aren't other common Rider VTubers out there. There are, there are, there are a few of us, but, like, they're basically non-existent, like, on people's radar, like, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one people actually recognize. Okay, that's that's a... not to, not to toot, not to toot my own horn or anything. Yeah. Of course, nah, toot away, toot away. This is a safe space for that. <laughs> <laughs> not to toot my own horn, obviously, but still. So, out of curiosity, why'd you settle on, say, Common Rider instead of Sentai or something like that? Um. Three months before I solidified the whole VTubing thing, I designed this look. It went through a few different iterations. One where I had shoulder pad armor, like Common Rider 5s, and it looked really fucking ugly on a female build. So I was like, yeah, just get rid of the shoulders. And now I have open shoulders. And that design is carried over to, um, you know, the, the sleeveless bit has carried over to my current design. It's not exactly the same. It doesn't have the Rapunzel sleeves anymore, but still. It is a pretty neat avatar, either way. Alright. Out of uh, curiosity, if you could choose a uh, tokusatsu series to come back or to end, what would you uh, choose for either one? Jeez. Oh, um... <laughs> Uh, I'm super biased, but, like, um, if they brought, if they brought back Decade again in Gotchard or something like that, I would not complain. I would not complain in the slightest. I would be very happy, as a matter of fact. Okay. Like, granted, that would be the second time he's come back, but, you know, it's fine. All right. The first time was uh the first time was Zio and now uh this time would be uh Gotchard. I would not mind. As for ending a season, I'm not petty enough to do that. I I don't have it in me to do that. I get that. <laughs> I I don't I don't have it in me to do that. I don't hate any season enough to want to obliterate it from existence. That's... I don't I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. I get that. If you could uh, choose any tokusatsu series to um, like become like well known by the world, like even just as a starting point, what would you choose? Um, damn, I think Yeats would be pretty nice. I would like to have that like in theaters in the states. Like maybe even just the winter movie would be fine. Honestly, like people would be fucking confused, but it's fine. <laughs> Fair like enough. I don't know, I was about to say put the series on Hulu, but Hulu is about Hulu is on Death's Door, isn't it? It seems like every streaming They're... service is now, and by its own hand. Yeah, I think Hulu is on Death's Door, actually, if I remember correctly. It's a shame too, because like before Disney Plus, Hulu was pretty decent. Like I remember yeah, back Hulu, when I got Hulu's a being... yeah. Now I remember Hulu was being absorbed into Disney Plus. Disney getting its own streaming service was one of the biggest mistakes they could have made, in my opinion. Like it seems like at, like all the Disney services, like even ESPN Plus, like uh, isn't that Disney like owned by the same parent company at least? Like, yes. Like that Hulu. Like it seems like all of those were doing extremely well until Disney Plus happened, and then it seemed like like it was just kind of the death knell for a lot of things. Because like I remember back 2018, back when I got my Roku, Hulu was one of the best streaming services. Had one of the best selections of shows, yeah. anime, and all yeah, that stuff. Exactly. And now it's just a uh, pale shadow of its former self. 
because everything's all spread around in between a billion different fucking streaming services. Hey, it's crazy. Like I remember back. Piracy is better, anyways. Piracy is better, anyways. Oh yeah, so, for know, sure. Whatever. You won't hear me arguing about that. Um, but still, yeah. Like it, it's crazy. Like people, like we, we sorry, they started streaming services. Because... I, figured it, I figured it was rude to keep my hood on, so I took it off. <laughs> oh, good. Like it seems like you know they started streaming services because everything was so spread out. And now we're back to the same point we were where everything's just fractured. And it's like, what's next? Are we going to see a rise again of cable or what's going to happen? You know? Cable is hella expensive, my dude. Yeah, no kidding. I actually just dropped uh, cable again pretty recently because, yeah, it's, it is insane how much. Like, even a, a basic plan for, through, say, Spectrum, that's still, like, 30 or 40 bucks if you're lucky enough to get a promo deal. Yeah, and hell, they even have quote unquote cable, you know, streaming services like um, was it Philo and um, Sling TV and a couple others, and like those ain't cheap e either. It's I, I just can't I'm even sure imagine. Guys, I'm sure, you guys probably want to take a closer look at my face. I'm just gonna zoom in on myself real quick. Hang on. No problem. All right, just zoom in on my face just a little bit. Oh, I just noticed you have little fang-looking things. Yeah. Neat. Is that for the uh, fox theme? Yes. Ah, fair enough. Neat. Uh, what color are those eyes? Like, I, I'm not sure if that's purple or pink. Both. Ah, okay. No problem. So, um, let's, I guess, talk about the main subject of this whole thing. Like, what are some games you really enjoyed in your childhood that still hold up, com like, compared to... Or just, like, I mean, that just still hold up, I mean. It's just still hold up in general? Um, damn. I know it's cliche, but, like... I know it's cliche as fuck to say this, but, like, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, most of the Saturn... Most of, stuff, most of the stuff on the Saturn, most of the stuff on the Genesis... Most of the stuff on the Dreamcast still holds up. If you can't tell, I grew up with. Uh, if you if you can't tell, I grew up with Sega stuff. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. When I was a uh, kid, I got the uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the 360. That that was it was definitely a way to get introduced to it. But I definitely prefer the uh, Sonic Gems Collection for the PS2. Yeah, you're like six years younger than me, so there was no way you could have had any interaction with the. Uh, with the Genesis at all. Just no, but like I did have the original Nintendo, uh, the Atari 2600, PS1, the PS2. I... Don't mind me, I'm just eyeballing my uh, my Genesis that's over in my closet. Yeah, no problem. I gotta get my uh, consoles actually brought up like for my setup, but that's gonna require a whole lot of jank, because like even to stream like you know on old hardware, like if you're not the funny thing is, the funny thing is, um, my rigger originally forgot um to put one of my fangs in. So I just had like one snaggle tooth. <laughs> I mean It was kind of, it was kind of funny. Like I was just stuck like that for like three months until they fixed it. No problem. So speak like other than Sonic, like those games, what what other games from your childhood did you enjoy? Damn, um, what else was there? We got, geez, um, we got Crash, we got, like, everything for Crash has held up, even if the first game is kind of like, like a big floppy, sloppy elephant, and the controls are heavy as fuck compared to the remake, it's still pretty fun. Fair enough. I was more. I was a Spyro kid when I was younger. I never really got into Crash. Spyro is pretty fun too. It still is. It still is even now. Mm hmm. You ever play Road Rash? Show me a picture, and it might rem it might jog my memory. Um, I know the original one was. I believe, or at least I might be wrong, but I think the original oh, Road Rash was on the uh, Genesis. Road Rash. Oh yeah. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah, that's good. That's good shit. That's good shit. That's good shit. That's oh, yeah. good shit. 
It's just such a shame the uh, series died out, like in the PS1 era. Like, I would have loved to have seen a mo modern Road Rush. I mean, sure, we have quote-unquote Road Redemption. But, like, it doesn't hold up anywhere near as good as even the PS1 games. Which, speaking of, do you ever play the uh, Road Rash reboot that was on, like, the 3DO, Saturn, PC, and um, PS1? On Saturn, yes. Nice. I've never, I've never actually been able to get 3DO emulation to work. It seems to be damn near impossible. Like, I've tried three different emulators. I've tried the uh, cores in li both LibRetro and um, BizHawk. I, like, I even tried on RetroArch. I, it's got a long ways to go. Yeah, like, there's nothing special on the 3DO anyway, except for uh, the definitive home port of Doom. But outside of that, nobody cares. Now, nah, come on. Everyone knows plumbers don't wear ties is the best game to ever come out. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, also, uh, I'm stupid. The definitive home port of Doom was on the Atari Jaguar. Never mind. Yeah. Wait, 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 was that the one with a good soundtrack, or which which one was that? Yes. That and, one was the one where the soundtrack was almost identical to the one on PC. No, no, I mean, like, which one was the one where they, you know, it was a uh, garage band that redid the whole soundtrack? That was the one on, uh, that was the one on Jaguar. Ah, okay. The one where it sounded like a bunch of farts was on Sega Genesis. Ah, okay. And also, that's because of a sound bug. I'm not surprised. Did they it's ever release a, a... Bug. It's, it's because of a bug with the sound card, and also someone hacked the ROM file to fix the sound bug, so now it works properly. Nice, and there's probably improvement, like an improvement version going around like there is for Road Rash 1, 2, and 3? Yes. Nice. So the, sound, so the soundtrack no longer sounds like a bathroom trip after Mexican night. Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. Crash Twin Sanity jokes. Ah, like I never got in. I don't think I ever played Twin Sanity. Is that like from the ab advertisement material or the actual game itself? It was good. Okay. Most people are gonna disagree. Most people are gonna dis disagree with me on that, and that's fine. I'm probably gonna get roasted for it, but that's fine. Fair enough. Uh, speaking of, crash... wouldn't be the wouldn't be the first time I've gotten roasted for video game opinions. Was there a Crash game that you played that you didn't really enjoy? Like, when you were um, younger and kind of came to appreciate as an adult? What was it? It wasn't... It wasn't... Tran it wasn't Twin Sanity. Like... It was the one on the PSP with the cars? Fuck. What was that called? Nitro Kart. Nitro Kart. I still have a copy of that over in storage. Nitro Kart was interesting. Is that a, a good interesting or a why the hell am I still playing this interesting? It's a why the hell am I still playing this sort of interest. Fair enough. Out of character, like, oh sorry. I kind of want to. I kind of want to play it on stream, just you know, like show people how fucking weird it is. Like, if I can be bothered to uh, download a bunch of uh, PSP ROMs again, I'll do that. You ever uh, play Mortal Kombat Unchained? Speaking of the PSP, correct. Yes. How about Shin on my Yami own time? Say Persona. Okay. Yes, actually. Nice. You uh, ever play Persona Two? I think it's like Innocent Sin for the PSP, or was yeah. it Eternal Punishment that went on there? Eternal Punishment, actually. Also, now I'm looking at my copy of. Uh... SMT3 remake that I was unopened, by the way. That was supposed to be a giveaway item, but never ended up happening. So now it's just sitting there on my shelf, unopened for like three years. Eh, could be worse. Now I have two copies of the same game. Eh, could, uh, what, yeah. Speaking of uh, games from when you were younger, you ever uh, run across the brand Wild Tangent? Wild Tangent. What have they made? Uh, they did the Fate series, not not the visual novels, yep. but the dungeon crawlers. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, there was it was Fate Excella on the PSP, if I remember correctly. No, no, I'm not talking the VNs or anything related to that. I'm talking the uh, I the uh, hack and slash dungeon crawlers. Um, like the, where the first yeah, one takes that... place in the town of Grove. Wasn't uh, that on? Wasn't that Fate Excella? 
Or am I stupid? In this case, um, it, it's not it's not Excella. Hold on, I'll send you a uh, picture real quick in DMs of the um, image for the uh, first Fate game, like the little poster thing. If uh, Discord stops my life stupid. To more. I'm fucking cute. I'm adorable. Yeah, you're you're all right. Nothing, uh, nothing wrong with that. Cool hair. Sorry, sorry, that I didn't mean to quite come across like an asshole there. Not my, not my intent. No, it's okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. Should be sending right now. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Fair enough. How about Westward? No. Um, trade wins. Trade wins. No. Farm Frenzy. Damn, is my whole, is my, like, fucking brain just a black hole of information today or something? Maybe. Like, with Wild Tangent, one of the reasons I'm asking is because, like, for a while, from, like, I think it was, like, 06 to, like, 2010, give or take. Maybe in 2011, actually. Maybe 2012. That's kind of a stretch, though. For a while, wa the uh, Wild Tangent launcher, which had a shitload of games, and Wild Tangent is actually still around, um, for a while... Oh, fuck, yeah! Now I remember! Now I re <laughs> I just had to think for a minute. Like, it was... <laughs> Shit me, dude, that was 14 years ago. You're gonna have to forgive me. I mean, fair enough, but, like, the whole Fate series is on both was, GOG I and was, Steam. I was, what, 15? I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was fifteen. That was fifteen. That was a long time ago. That's fair. Like for me, that was the, a the long reason, fucking time ago. Like the reason I remember the Fate series, as well as like Westward and all them, is like, like for one, Wild Tangent has an active subscription service, so you can go back and play those games. But like they still, like even have a good chunk of the games actually, or at least the Fate series on both GOG and Steam. And like I grew up with these games, like for a while. Like, these were all I played, like that, Final Drive Nitro, which may ring a bell, Final Drive Fury. I think the Virtual Villagers was with those guys. Could have been a whole different set of people. Like, those games were so fun, and at least the Fate series still holds up, especially in the wake of uh, Diablo 4. But, like, do you know the game Torchlight, like the original one? Torchlight... Slightly rings a bell? Uh... I know that one's on 360. It might also be on PS3. But, like, a lot of the devs who did the uh, Fate series actually went and did Torchlight. So, like, the reason there's a lot of similar mechanics and whatnot in Torchlight, like there is for Fate, is because there was a lot of the same devs, which I actually just found out pretty recently. That's kind of wild. I know, going from indie to... Like, was Torchlight a certain indie game? I don't think indies was really a th indies weren't really a thing until like 2011, 2012. Ah, fair enough. But like one of the reasons I'm wondering is it wasn't like, really considered a quote unquote genre or whatever until then. Ah, okay. Like I'm not sure how big the download for the original Torchlight is, but like it's I know it is astronomically bigger than Fate because like back in the day, Fate was like. Not even 40 megabytes, if I recall right. Like, it was some really small amount, but, like, there was a whole lot of content jam-packed in. Like, even for Undiscovered Realms and the Trader Soul, and even kind of the Cursed King, like, they're, they're not large downloads, even on Steam and GOG. Like, and they fit, fit a lot of content in. Like, I know you said that, you know, it's been, like, 15 years, but, like, what games were you playing around then other than, other than that? Jeez, oh, around that time, Sonic Colors? Probably, since that was like 20... Yeah, that was 2011, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was, anyways. Maybe? I don't know, 2012 was when The Cursed King came out. That, hmm, let's see, 20, 2012. Like, it, is it bad I kind of just blocked that whole year out? Because, like, 2011, 2012, like, there, just nothing memorable happened here? So Sonic Colors, huh? How how was that game? Um, 
that's probably one of the better Sonic games out there, honestly. One of, if not... Uh, yeah, it deserves a spot in the top five, honestly. The remake is kind of jank. The remake is kind of jank, but it's on Switch, so I don't, don't care. Fair enough. If I want to play the original, I can just emulate it. Who cares? Honestly, the better way to go, especially where, like, just in general at this point, like, just from a game preservation standpoint, not that it matters for some companies, because they're just doing all this game as a service stuff and whatnot. Which, what's your opinion on that? Like, game companies just trying to make sure that their games can't be preserved. Games as a service makes me fucking angry. I will say that now. I understand that, and I fully agree. It's like that uh, Cursed Farms guy said, like, it's fraud. Because, like, like, it... Yeah, it, liter it literally is. Yeah. It's like, like, sure, you're paying for the game, but you don't own it. It's like, wow, what's the point of buying it, then? If you're not actually buying it, but just renting a copy, so to speak. Like, if you're just renting... If you're just renting the copy, then there's literally no point. Exactly. Like, if we're, I'm gonna be renting a game, bring back uh, stores like, um, what, Hollywood Video, uh, Blockbuster, and whatnot? Because, like, at that point, I mean, sure, Gamefly is a thing, but at least with them, you know you're gonna... Be it was a thing for, like, a little while, and then it died. No, Gamefly was still around last I knew. I still got emails from them, even. Oh, wow, okay. Seriously? They're still alive? Yeah, like, back until 2021, I was even still actively renting games from them. And, like I said, I still get emails from those guys, even. Like, I'm not sure um, if their service is as big, but, like, you could even purchase uh, gaming memorabilia, even, as well as purchase games, and, and like I said, you can still rent. That's fucking wild. I thought they died years ago. No, no, they were still around. Like, that's how I uh, got to play Rage 2 when that game came out. Not worth it, but I mean, like, could be worse? Yeah, it could definitely be worse. Out of curiosity, uh, did you ever play Rage 2? No. I've seen gameplay of it, though. You're really not missing much. And I hate to be like yeah, that, but like, it seems like, like even then, it seems like the game was just like part of a copy and pasted formula. Because it, it, like, it didn't even hold up then. Looter shooter! Looter shooter! Copy paste everywhere! Everyone wants to be fucking Borderlands! Haha, -ha, funny! Yeah. Uh, speaking of Borderlands, that game series does not hold up. When it's a I'm going to I'm going to respectfully disagree. Fair enough, and I will respect your opinion. Like I bought the collection except for Borderlands Three a while ago, and like, not nah, like it does it's not. It's better with it's better with friends. Fair enough, but like, yeah, it's a game that you're not meant to play by yourself. Fair enough. I just don't have any friends who play Borderlands, so I. It's. Some of the uh, DLCs are pretty easy to solo, but eh. You ever play Borderlands 3? Uh, no. You did not miss much. That is the... Like, Borderlands 3? More like Borderlands P, because it's fucking cringe. Yeah. It... Like, I made the mistake of actually playing that one with a friend back... Shit, I, I think that was two years ago now. May have been three. But that game's just not good. Like, like it, like it gets a lot of disrespect and a lot of flack. And in my opinion, it deserves way more than it gets. Like it's got the grease of Pitchford all over it. It, you could squeeze that some bitch out. It is, it is bad. You know, I should probably get on to other subjects. Um, mm -hmm. any games that you uh, love that? Like, even though you love them, they really don't hold up? Um. That don't hold up? Yeah. Damn. Oh, fuck. Mm. Uh, 
thinking fox. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Can't, dude. Um. <laughs> I'm blanking here. My brain is like just. <laughs> my brain is elsewhere. I understand that. Um. One that doesn't hold up. One that doesn't hold up. I. I don't know. Like I'm sure there's stuff out there that that doesn't hold up after like 15 years and maybe Sonic Colors is one of them. Maybe. I don't know. Because it definitely has bits and pieces of jank in different places. Okay. That most people might not like or appreciate, but still. Fair enough. All right. Um, do you have any projects coming up? Um, projects. Um, I'm gonna be working on the YouTube channel a little bit more. Would you be willing to uh, link me to your socials so that we can get them put in the description after this uh podcast episode? Mm-hmm. One sec. I appreciate that. Boink. I'm just going to uh, change the screen so that way I can, without doxing. All right. Boink. Oh, that's and... cute. The uh, little Kiyomi Hoshi uh, Twitch uh, background. I hadn't uh, seen. I hadn't seen this uh, before. Normally, I just go in and uh, kind of just tap the uh, link. Or just go into following and then go that way. Oh, that's cool. Your uh, YouTube back uh, little background picture thing. Did you make that or did you, did you commission that? Um, I commissioned that like a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Fair enough. It's pretty cool. Mm hmm Only one of my shorts has popped off so far. <laughs> I understand that. YouTube's kind of weird about how its algorithm works. Like, things that you don't think should shoot up in popularity absolutely do. And then things that you think are really good tend to not. You can see the evolution of my uh, of my avatar just from the clips that I've uploaded. I uh, I believe it. I'll definitely have to look through all this um, af after we're done tonight. Yep. Well, um, any anything you'd like to say before we end the episode? Um. Definitely, uh, people who are listening, please follow me on Twitter. Please follow me on Twitch. Please sub on YouTube. I'm almost to 19k on Twitter. If I could get there before the end of the month, that would be beautiful. Even if it's like the beginning of February, that would be even greater. No problem. Um, this this will probably end up being uploaded sometime. Well, I say it'll be uploaded, but it'll probably be live. Around 9 p.m. tomorrow. Just, just let you know, Hoshi. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Link me whenever it is, and then I'll just I'll post it on the Discord. Yep, you got it. Oh, thank you, uh, thank you for agreeing to be on the podcast. Not a problem. Not a problem. I have tons of free time. Like I didn't want to stream tonight, anyways. I can always do it tomorrow. Uh... Oh wait, no, tomorrow's Saturday. I'm stupid. I don't even know if I'll have power tomorrow. They're calling for a worse storm than the one we got uh, around Thursday, which uh, caused pretty bad flooding and knocked down some power lines here. Yeesh. Yeah, it, it, it's interesting. Like, the flooding was pretty bad. Like, I was even going through uh, town today just to uh, go pick up a couple of boxes of non-perishables, and, like, you, there were guardrails that you could see, like, all the sand 
around them had basically just been completely washed away, and there were even traffic cones around it because it was that bad. So I can only imagine how bad the one they're calling for tomorrow is going to be. Y'all going to be underwater. Yeah, just about. And I live, like, a couple minutes away, actually, from the ocean. So this could be fun. Y'all going to be underwater. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to learn to swim just slightly better. <laughs> yeah. Well, have a good night, and uh, th- thank you for being on. Not a problem. And thank you guys for listening in. Have a good one. <laughs>